Happy and healthy altitudes to you. Hello, I'm Gary Giannetti, and I'm coming to you from Healthy Altitudes, Colorado. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Matt Moreno calling or talking with you from um, Your Peak Mind in sunny North Carolina. It's great to see you today. Uh, today, Gary, I thought we would talk a little bit about weeding. Yes, weeding, and not the kind that might be taking place in Colorado, but the kind that takes place out in the garden. Um, Here's the idea, right? And I'm not a big fan of, of being outside doing, doing weeding. I am a fan of being outside, but not of actually doing the gardening part. Uh, but um, Gary was talking with me a little bit this morning about, he's, he noticed some weeds growing in his flower beds. And it occurred to us both that that's a great analogy for what's going on in our lives. Um, so in times of you know, COVID and times of stress, and so I wanna make it more about every day, not just about what's going on right this moment. But during yeah. times of stress and anxiety, a lot of times we get faced with something that is, you know, in our minds, we've built it up to a point where it's insurmountable. And you just sit there and you're almost paralyzed because you think, oh, man, I've got this giant job to do and I can't go any further with it. Well, seeing a big flower bed full of weeds is very analogous to that, where when you walk out to see this giant flower bed full of weeds, what do you think? Oh man, I don't want to have to touch this thing. If I start one, I'm going to be there for hours. It's a giant job. I don't want to deal with this. Each individual weed represents one of the problems that might be in your life. And if you would just attack them, you know, even one at a time, or one a day, or three a day, or 10 a day, or even a couple feet in your flower bed a day, before you know it, you're going to be done with it. So one of the things that we want to talk about is maybe handling some of these stressors that come to you on a day, day by day basis and really kind of think of it like that, that flower bed full of weeds. Um, you know, Milton Erickson, I think is, is who's talked about this, but talking about therapy, he talked about the idea that just one domino has to fall before all of them will fall. Um, and that's kind of what happens with therapy where you start talking about one thing and all of a sudden everything else starts to come out. And you know, before you know it, the person's starting to feel better because they've talked about their depression, they've talked about the reasons behind it, they've talked about their, um, their drive to be better or worse, or what's dealing, what am I dealing with my, my father? What am I going through with my kids? And what am I going through with my job? And once you start breaking some of those individual dominoes down, suddenly everything starts to just to come out and the person feels a lot lighter and feels a lot healthier. So that's what the connection is with the weeds. And one of the things I wanted to bring up in, in our conversation was the idea that when you walk out today and you look at your flower bed or you look at the, the field that you might be tending or even you think about the problems going on in your life like COVID or like other, other things that maybe your money isn't where it needs to be right now because of you know, your loss of a job or being furloughed or, or whatever it happens to be that's causing you trouble. If you can pick just one thing out, just to get started, just one thing that might help you out, whether it be something about eating better or just stretching or spending time with your family or playing cards once a day or something that makes you happy, something that brings that level of lightness in an otherwise sort of dreary situation. Yeah. Next day, maybe you could do two things and maybe the next day you could do three things. And the day after that, maybe pretty soon you're up to 10 or 20 and you look back and all of a sudden you've done a lot of good for yourself and you didn't even realize you were doing it. So yeah. that's what we wanted to talk about today. What do you think about that, Gary? Yeah, I think that's a great point. I think, um, you know, the, the reason I started thinking about weeding today is because I'm wearing my farmer's shirt here. Uh -huh. um, I, uh, after I went for a run this morning, I was doing a little farming and uh, pulling some weeds out, and it made me start to think the same thing as, as what Dr. Matt's talking about. You know, I get, um, sometimes I'll get a client who says, I really want to lose weight, um, and it's hard to try to reach those steps and discuss all those steps all at once to get to their goal to lose 50 pounds. It gets overwhelming. So at some point in that conversation, usually people start to tune it out. So I start with one simple step, and that first step is taking steps, you know, getting out and moving, walking just a little bit more is that first piece, exercise. Then you start to dive into nutrition. Then you can start to, like you're talking about, Dr. Matt, dive into the psychology of what you know, what has worked in the past, what their support system is like in their house. Sometimes it's hard for people to lose weight because their spouse is eating unhealthy food and they feel like they want to eat it with them or their kids are. Or if they're like me, you know, the kids don't finish their food. And I eat all the leftovers. I'm like the human garbage can. Um, so these, just, right? these are just, what's that? Can't let it go to waste, right? 
No way. I mean, it's good, perfectly good food. You know, farmers have to eat too. So, <laughs> so, so you know, it reminded me as I was pulling a couple of these weeds up after my run. I pulled one, and then I looked around. And I was like, oh, there's another one. Pulled another one. Pulled another one. Pulled another one. And um, it really, you know, it started to get me thinking. Like, once you start in motion, right? Uh, laws of physics: a, a body in motion stays in motion, right? unless acted upon by an outside force. If you start in motion, chances are you can stay in that motion and keep moving forward, pulling out a few more weeds, or like Dr. Matt said, talking about a few more things in your life that help tie in to keep you happy. And I think that those are the two things we really wanna talk about um, you know, today is popping those weeds out, pull one weed out at a time before you know your garden looks pretty. And even if your garden doesn't look pretty, that's okay too, you know? I still have some weeds in the front yard. I didn't get to pull them all out. We all will always have weeds, right? You can never be perfect. Um, the best thing we can do is like Dr. Matt said, take one step at a time, take one piece at a time, and try to improve one thing at a time. Um, keep focused on moving forward. And those are some things you can think about with fitness as well. And as we, you know, have changed habits over this last month, think about the things that you've done really well Take one of those things and keep that going forward past all this COVID-19. Keep some of those good habits. Let some of those old habits go. Throw them in the garbage with the other weeds that you're throwing out. You know, and this is a great time to think about those things and, um, and really keep moving forward. And that's what all these uh, videos are about. We try to, try to help keep reminding people to stay positive and moving forward with some good tips and tricks to do that um, both psychologically and then also from from my perspective a little more physiologically as well um, okay. so thanks dr matt and uh looking forward to getting out and enjoying some sunshine and doing some weeding excellent so a few episodes ago we talked about reframing and, and taking things in a little yeah. bit different way and one of the things i tell lots of my clients and i i have to admit to you gary this is going to be probably fitness heresy here uh, you used physics and you used weeding, uh, two very good exercises to keep your you know, things, keep your body working. I'm going to use a different analogy where the heresy I'm going to commit is, and that is comparing it to a giant chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> I, I love chocolate chip cookies. Oh, and, you know, if, if I pulled you aside and said, hey, I'm going to give you this big chocolate chip cookie, and by the way, it's three tons, and it's this big, and here's Sounds a glass great. of milk. You look at that thing like, oh man, I'll never be able to get through this thing. There's no way. I don't like I don't like cookies that much. And pretty soon you start talking yourself out of even doing it. Where if I told you, listen, here's this giant chocolate chip cookie. Take a bite at a time. Take a little bite at a time and just keep going. Dip, you know, dunk. I'm a big dunker. Dunk a little bit in the milk and keep eating. And you don't have to eat the whole thing in one sitting. Yeah. Same thing goes if you're looking at that big bed of weeds and you're going, oh man, I can't handle this. It's too big. It's just it's unwieldy. Well, don't. There's no reason that you have to do everything in the same day, in the same hour, in the same minute. You can break it down into smaller pieces to make it a lot more manageable. And that's kind of the point I really want you to get from my perspective today, which is don't feel like you've got to tackle all this right this moment. If you yeah. tackle a piece of it, you'll feel like you've done something. You feel like you've accomplished something. Tackle two pieces, tackle three pieces, and pretty soon you've tackled a whole lot of it. Pretty soon you've eaten that whole cookie. Now, maybe you've gained a few pounds out of that whole cookie. But it, you didn't do it all in one sitting. You did it over the course of a long time. You probably enjoyed the heck out of it too, which I know I would, because I like cookies. But anyway, just wanted wanted to point that out that it's not about doing the whole thing right this moment. It's right. about taking a piece at a time, one weed at a time, and yeah. you'll feel better for the accomplishments that you've made. I think that's a really great point. I think that takes that takes it to how to reach goals. You have to start with small pieces to get to that bigger goal, and that's. You know, that bigger goal can be your stretch goal to get all the weeds out of the garden. But the process goal is getting each one out gradually to get to that big stretch goal. And that's really important. I think that's a great point to reiterate, Matt. Thanks, thanks so much. I really think um, that that is a very key point to making those regular deposits into fitness. People think they have to go to the gym for an hour and they talk themselves out of it. If you just go out and walk for 15 minutes or half an hour, that's enough. And you can start to be more realistic about how you're going to fit fitness in and things like that. Being realistic with those small steps forward. Great, great point. Um, making those little regular deposits along the way. And we also, 
you know, every day I've been trying to do Facebook live videos where I'll give three quick tips on how to be active, eat well, and stay happy. Because right now there's just so much information out there through social media and stuff. People can get overwhelmed from that as well. And you have to come back to those simple tips, those quick tips. Like we're doing even with these videos, we try to keep these videos, you know, pretty short, but giving some quick tips so you can watch one or two or whatever you have time for. And um, I think that you have to be able to take those little pieces at a time, one weed at a time. There you go. Awesome, awesome, Matt. Thanks, thanks so much, Dr. Matt. We really appreciate all the talks and uh, look forward to making some more of these fun videos with you. Absolutely. Thank you for having me and nice to talk with all of you who are watching these videos. Um, have a great day and thank you for watching. We'll keep finding some ways to be active, eat well, and stay happy. It's not just for this virus, right? It's for your life. Absolutely.